Hello, this is Chris here, and we're going to be playing on this game, and this game is called The Game Dev Tycoon, and basically you play as a business that makes games, obviously, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to um, decide the company's name, I don't know what to name it, but I will think rather quickly, uh, I think I'll call it... The cheat, yeah, the cheeky, the cheeky twats corp. The cheeky, the cheeky twats corp. Oh, uh, in. Actually, yes, in. And the player's name is obviously going to be me, Mr. Cheeky Monkey is back. Alrighty then, I am a male. No, that's a female. That's a male. Uh, Get confused with these signs. Nevertheless, let's try and oh, ginger! Hello, ginger! Uh, no, 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 no. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't want to be a black guy. I don't want to be a blonde. I think that suits me. No, the shirt. Hmm. The blue shirt. I love the the light blue shirt. Anyways, we will continue. Alright, 42 years of gameplay, the game length, fast pace, 35 years, I'll leave it as that, because it's recommended, would you like to import all the previous, nope, I do not, do it, ah, right then, this is my previous, um, you know, games, and uh, I'm pretty much addicted to it, the Gala Games, the board, the board Mano Corp, the, Laughing. Anyways, let's choose. Let's get with that. Yes, we'll overwrite this game. Aha! Tutorial. We all love tutorials. Congratulations! You just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage, and you are the only employee. But don't worry. Many successful businesses have started out this way. What in a freaking garage? All right. Whatever you say. Let's. Start developing your first game. Close this message and click, then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alrighty then. Let's uh, put the timer on first. Should I always forget to do this? Yeah, I'm a dupe. I think I put 20 minutes long for this video. Yes, 20 minutes long. Spooky. That one. I got an achievement! Yay! Ah, support a young to by the game. Okay. Let's develop a new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Okay. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Ah, game. Let's pick a game. Ah, oh, we can do about evolution, racing. Rhythm, okay. Let's do it about aliens, aliens, oh yes. Alien action game, role playing game. Yeah, we'll play as an alien. And we're going to pick the cheapest uh, PC here. Nah, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to spoil it for you. The G64 will go out go off market because it costs too much. So I'm not going to do that. Let's do this now. About aliens, okay. The game it's about aliens, so what should we call it? Uh, come on, I will call it the Alien Freaks. Yes, I'd have to warn you, I'm not good at naming things. Alien Freaks 1, yes, 2D graphics version 1, cost me 10k. 10,000, I guess that's um, what it means. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. No, thank you. Right then, okay, um, we'll work more on the 
gameplay and the story mode. They're more on the story, if anything, the engine can go down, that could be that. Yeah, I think that's about right. Click OK to that. Game development has now started. You don't freaking say. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Uh, game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Makes sense. From time to time there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game has been released and increased development from time and cost. Okay then, getting load of bugs. I think the bugs will go later. We'll focus more on the level design. Going long can go down. That's, that's right to me. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected uh, when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay. I think I'll focus more on the graphics, so you can go down, I'm not asked about that, meaning I'm not bothered about it. Click OK. It wasn't uh, accepting me, it wouldn't let me go um, to the next bit, for some reason. Ah! The development of your first game is now complete, you can press finish button to publish your game. But you should only do that once you've fixed the majority of the bugs. Which means all of the bugs really. I'm not going to keep one bug on there, am I? Releasing the game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings. Blah de blah de blah. State the obvious. This should be a good game. The Alien Freaks. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Yep. Oh, reviews. Oh, getting points first and then reviews. Okay. Or oh, you level up as well on these. I suppose it means better graphics, better stuff, okay. Release the game, shall we? Okay. I think it's next week, I think it's once that week's... Oh yeah, I'm a second, but yeah, that's right. I was just looking. The first reviews for our newly, newly released games, the Alien Freaks, came in. Six shows potential. That's all right. Have seen better. Screw you. Seven, make it a seven, bitch. Thank you. Nice game. Nice experience game from Game Hero. That's all right. Not a bad uh, score. A review. After publish publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Uh, all right. It's okay. The tutorial's pissing me off though. The cheeky twats dot incorporated and you come in the game industry has just released their first game, The Alien Fix 1. The game received favourable reviews with such a good start the cheeky twats <laughs> are sure to gain fans quickly because of the name of course. Oh, ah, that's pretty good. Not bad for a first um, sales. 64 charts, yeah. Should I be on the top of the charts? I've gained 9 fans. Yay, we're getting fans now. 9 more fans. Right, let's generate a game report please. Right, and getting research points, that's good. I need to use these research points for something. Probably developing a new game then. Um, research, I'll look at research. Blah blah blah, can't be bothered with the list. Cust oh, you have to have 50 uh, research points to get your own game engine. New topic. 
hacking city. We can uh, we can make a city uh, simulator like Sim City 4. A copyright at its best here. Right, go away. Oh, new sales record. And now I'm researching into getting the city uh, topic. Need to get more research points. I think I might save up to get a new gaming engine. Right, develop new game, pick a topic, city, simulation, PC, obviously Sim City, uh, Sim City for dummies. Nah, I'm just gonna put Sim City 666. Ooh, satanic. Ooh. Anyways, that's it. Sim City 666. 2D, okay then. People will love this. Uh, we don't want to focus on the story so much. More, I want to focus on the gameplay and engine a bit more. Yeah, that's about right. Because with the Sim City game in real life, it didn't really have a story to it. It was more of the gameplay. Why are you scratching your head for, freak? Talking to the person here, just so you know. <laughs> See, it says it's outselling competitors in in the PC sector. Consumer prefer low prices, greatly available availability and flexible hardware configuration over over home computers. Okay, then. that's interesting. Uh, more on the level design, to be honest. That way. I've um, I played this game many many of times before, by the way, and it's really addictive. <laughs> I can never stop playing it. I think the world design's more important, to be honest. See if we can have a new record for these points. Fix these bugs, will ya? Hmm, monthly cost 8k, not too bad. Got 35 fans, is that it? Uh, can I? Ooh. Okay, industry news. According to uh, according to rumours to uh, the Japanese company Ninvento, haha, <laughs> yeah, Ninvento, you mean in Nintendo, <laughs> uh, is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento um, is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. <laughs> you mean Donkey Kong? Screw you! Many industry experts state that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to uh, see what an event will deliver. It will deliver your mother, of course. That's a bit weird. Let's finish. Oh, new record! Yay! I think this game will do better than the other game that we previously made. Uh, okay, oh, well, reviews already. Could have been better. Seven, beautiful. Quirky but good. Do you mean does quirky mean stupid but good? That don't make sense. Six, I like it. Ah, six, six, six. Oh, see, satanic stuff here. Illuminati. Enough said. <laughs> I am so normal. Release the game now. Ah. It's, sell it's selling a lot more than last time, so... Oh, 41 fans. Hmm, almost got 100 fans already, altogether. Yay! Generate a game report. Get some research points for that, I think. Yep. Uh, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of the game. Please like, comment and subscribe. Please let me know if you want to see more of this game, because I've not done a Let's Play in ages, so I thought I'd just make this gameplay video sort of thing, 
please let me know if you like it or not, and, you know. Tell me what you think of the game. Do you want to see more of this game? Uh, I'm thinking about playing on SimCity 4 as a, get, as a Let's Play video. Um, it's an idea. I might start to play on Victoria 2 again. I don't know, just let me know what games you would like me to play. That's what I'm trying to say here. Well, it's off the market, it sold a lot more than last time, we're doing uh, better than before, so can't complain. Right then, I need 50 research points, let's develop another game, shall we? It's going to be simulation game again. Evolution! Okay. Let's call it Species... Um... I think species, yeah, just species. Pick a platform, PC again, 2D graphics. Hmm. Okie dokie then. I think I'll focus more on the gameplay again. I think it's every four weeks they deduct, uh, deduct um, £8,000 from the bank. Uh, I think we'll focus more on the artificial intelligence, lower the level design, up uh, the dialogue a little bit, and then we'll click OK. I don't think it'll do better than the other games, I don't think, but it'll make some money nevertheless. The world design, uh, I don't know. I think we'll just do it all. Just, just, it's all equal. It's all. That's not bad. Let's finish. Waiting for the new uh, points. Oh, new record. We've done better than the other games. Okay, that's alright. Oh, we leveled up the game place, level 2. And I'm nearly at level 2. I'm on, I think that's the person that levels up. I think you can make better games the higher the level is. Makes sense. Ah, news! Today the new game platform TES by Nivento has been released. Game reviews have now come in. Brilliant. Oh, sorry, 10 then. 7, nice experience. 8, very good. Oh, much better than last time. Seven, it's very consistent. Eight, yes. Seven, eight, seven, eight. It's all right. Good set of numbers too. Should sell a lot more. Almost got um enough to get a new gaming engine. Generate a game a uh, game report. I think I'll ooh, contract work. Okay, I don't need extra cash. I'm, I'm rich as it is. Got a lot of fans, you see. 251 fans, 225,000 pounds, and growing even more. That's good. Okay, then. Okay, dudes. Let's research a new gaming engine. You are very slow. Then you write very slow. Screw you. I can write faster than that. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Now you can create your own game engines. To get started, close the manager. Click anywhere to bring up the action menu. That's interesting. Ooh, I can have a, a linear story to the game. You can include save the game and it's, it's good. Let's call this Christo. Yes, Christo. 2014. That's not that's not 2014. That's 2014. Dot engine or en dot version one. Such a brilliant name. Let's research this, shall we? Okay then, thanks for letting me know that. 
one thing we need. Ah, it's off the market. It's got a lot of money. We're doing um, brilliant so far. By the way, as you get further into the game, um, you, get, you, can, you can be able to make your own gaming consoles. It's just really amazing. It's, oh, I can't wait to get up to that point in the game. Sorry for spoiling that for you, but you can do all sorts once you advance. You can. You don't always work in this garage, by the way. You you hire other people to do your dirty work. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching me play this. Sorry if. Uh, if it was boring, but if you watched up to this point, it's obviously not boring for you. So please hit that subscribe button, please comment, like, and yeah, tell me what you think. And I'll see you later. Bye bye. That's interesting. Ooh, I can have a, a linear story to the game. You can include save the game, and that's it. It's good. Let's call this Christo. Yes, Christo. Two thousand and fourteen. That's not. That's not two thousand fourteen. That's two thousand and fourteen. Dot engine. Or en. Dot version one. Such a brilliant name. Let's research this, shall we? Okay then, thanks for letting me know that. One thing we need. Ah, it's off the market. It's got a lot of money. We're doing um, brilliant so far. By the way, as you get further into the game, um, you, get, you, can, you can be able to make your own gaming consoles. It's just really amazing. It's, oh, I can't wait to get up to that point in the game. Sorry for spoiling that for you, but you can do all sorts once you advance. You can. You don't always work in this garage, by the way. You you hire other people to do your dirty work. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching me play this. Sorry if, uh, if it was boring, but if you watched up to this point, it's obviously not boring for you. So please hit that subscribe button, please comment, like, and yeah, tell me what you think. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.